Mushroom Kingdom. Making his way to the ring. His Good. theme song, a bit of a blast from the past. Sweet Jesus, he looks greasy. Yeah, I hear he washes his face with pizza puff. I believe it. That was stupid. The player Uno making his way to the ring. Much to the delight of these crowd here. Hey, how about Chico last night? I still can't get over Chico. It was cheeky. Uno's gut looking bigger than usual. Must be working on that. Originally scheduled to be the Super Smash Brothers, play Uno and Stupefied. Look at that fat ass taking on Damien and Viking. But as, as they mentioned earlier, Damien and Viking not able to make it tonight. So who's player Uno wrestling? Somebody from the moon. His weight? Stupefied. Hailing from the moon? Our DJ is incompetent. Play Runo's wrestling stupefied. It's team member versus team member. Oh, it's stupefied coming out in a mask. He's got a big black and green mask. He looks like Reptile from Mortal Kombat. That's not stupefied. That's not stupefied at all. It's a guy in a mask. Who are you, masked man? As I said, it Show yourself! Show yourself! It looks like Reptile from Mortal Kombat. How dare you call yourself stupefied? How dare you? Oh, it is stupefied. Look at that. Anyway. And the final participants from the Colorado Rocky Mountains. The from the Colorado, Colorado Rocky Mountains. 50 pounds, Big Van Voltage. Big Van Voltage. Big Van Vader. No, actually, Big Van Voltage. His name actually emanates from the fact that his father is an electrician. No. And he grew up idolizing both his father and Big Van Vader. So he crossed both of them together to make the name Big Van. I'm having a great time. I'm having a blast. I'm having a blast, my friend. Look at this guy! <laughs> He's all... <old. laughs> and what a specimen! Big Van Voltage! I'm scared of him! He's, He's got bottles! He's taking out the trash! What's he gonna do his vicious running? And here's Voltage! Staring down his... Oh, Making no. his way to the ring! The first time we've ever looked at this guy. Got a guy with lightning bolts on his clothes. He hails from the Colorado Rocky Mountains. Look at Uno! Good grief, he's fat! Oh man, look at this, we got a three-way. <laughs> what are we gonna see here tonight, Mike Roch? We're gonna see a lot of high-flying technical action. From all three men here. You know what I, I think? Say, Uno brings the power, Stupefied brings the flying. And Voltage! I think that's Big Van Vader, Roch. Oh, that's Big Van Voltage. Come on, man. He's gonna bring the pain. Stupefied putting the mask back on. I don't know. What is this? A, a three-way mask man. A mask affair. Lots of masks here at Super. Oh, I get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's overpowering both men. Oh, uh, just punched him to the gut. And they're firing back with the, with the strikes to the gut. Look at this. Break the knuckle off with the kicks. Double drop kicks. Yeah. Yeah. And Zaguri from Uno. All right, guys, I'm sorry to interject here. But I'm a little confused. You see, Stupefied came out to this matchup prepared, wearing the mask, and proceeded during his entrance to take the mask off. However, only to put it right back on as he starts. Fill me in here, Mike Roach. Does the mask have superpowers? You know it might. What a stupid thing to say. Yeah, this, this guy is what crazy. What a stupid thing to say. Go back to Montreal. You prick. How dare you? Back to the match. Look at that. Show respect. Oh! Big, Van big double clothesline from Voltage! Voltage, goddammit! Not Vader! Oh, big Van sends to the back of the head. Sends the face across the knee. Catches the crossbody attempt. Big Van catch the crossbody. Oh, so Kicking the midsection. Looking to 
Hook on the suplex. The voltage with a very strong reversal. He muscled him up. That's Jeez. Oh, yeah. Uno hits the ropes. Cut off by voltage with the grizzly bear. You know, you know what Uno should hit? The gym. I'm not, I'm not going to deny that right there. He's on the whip into a stupefied single footed drop kick. Beautiful kick to the throat. Are they calling for a dive? I hope he doesn't hit that light. Sweet Jesus! Oh, the top. Sweet Jesus! My lord. There Uno. Uno's going for a dive. Riling up the crowd here. God, I don't want to see this. This chunky kid is known to fly. Hits the ropes. Oh, oh my god! Man. Kano Cannonball slash Blanca Roll Attack. Mike Raj Pigs can fly. Uno. Michael DePonte seems to have hit the bar during your mission. I'm a vicious man, Mike Raj. I think you're drunk. No, no, no. I will. Well, what is this? We got a fan calling for, for a power bomb. Uno saying that, that he will loud, oblige later. That was a loud chop, Mike Raj. Another chop. Calling for another chop. I think that was the loudest one of them all. That's gonna remove a nipple. Uno charges in. The top rope! The top rope has broken! Oh good three! C4 wrestling! Uno trying to fix the top rope. We see the ring crew kids coming to the aid. Some guy with a stupefied actually going out to question the promoter asking why the ring broke. Rush, what happened to the ring? The top rope broke. But how? I didn't see it. The immense way to play a Uno. Very nice. Turn that into a cutter. Beautiful. And the cover broken up by stupefied. <laughs> Leaping knee strike, but sent off by Voltage. Catches the knee to the face. But is he going to get him up? Beautiful exploder suplex variation. Ring crew trying to put the ring back on. As the match is still going. I don't think that guy's even ring crew. Nice loud chop. That's gotta hurt. Gotta hurt. Yeah. This reversal oh. of the whip. Catch the kick to right in the head. Oh. Distracted by this broken rope. Oh. Yeah. Kicking the clothesline out. Oh! And there it is, the River City Ransom. Look at that dislocated oh. shape. Oh. Oh. oh man, this top rope is going to be a bad Could have taken out his shoulder right there. Well, this top rope being broken is taking out a lot of stuff. They, oh, they got it back up there. Oh, 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 Voltage blew out his knee. Oh man! Drops him across the knee right there. What does Uno call that? And he just got the win. I don't know, but it's over. This match was cursed from the beginning. Voltage being taken to the back. Yes, people check it on him. I don't know if he's gonna be okay, but it looked like he really his knee was. Uh, folks, uh, we're gonna stay with this voltage knee injury situation. I'm gonna go check on him now, Rob. Yeah, you do that.
I'd say. And the fans love this guy, hailing from very Long Beach, California. 195 pounds, an extra five in his pants, Sexy Eddie. You know what? It's never boring when Sexy Eddie's in the house. Everywhere you go, whether it's Montreal, whether it's Ottawa. Oh, he's got a new look. I hadn't seen him like that. He looks like Wolverine. What's with the facial hair? The man with the King Kong slum, the Sexy Eddie, making his way to the ring. He's fully clothed for the moment, but you know that very soon he will not be. Ladies are getting excited there, Rachi. As they should. Even the males are getting excited. Oh, speak for yourself there, with, Rachi. We got a lot of pecker checkers here, apparently. <laughs> do we want to identify a couple of the ring or what? I'm not going to do that. No. I'm going to protect everybody. I love the C4 fans. But as I mentioned, Sex Yeti's sporting the Wolverine sideburns. I wonder if a guy as explicit as Sex Yeti knows that Marvel was bought by Disney and they would frown upon what he just did right there. And this crowd is hot! You know what's next. Sexy ready Eddie. Season three of C4. He's getting ready. That's right. He's going to unleash the beast. Oh, there we go. Put an eye out with that thing. Got a mind of its own. That is a big penis. I'm still wondering what he's doing with Shane Hawk. Man, I don't know. Shane Hawk, he's got the dollars. You know what? The guy has so much potential, but I think Sean, Shane Hawk's actually holding him back. Well, as Puff Daddy once said, it's all about the Benjamins. And Bash Bison apparently using those Benjamins to buy some new pants here tonight. He has furry legs. I tell you, I think Sexy Eddie has his hands full tonight. He looks pretty focused. I don't know, Sexy Eddie, he needs to get a win. The last time we saw him here in C4, uh, he came out on the losing end in a match against the former Jay Reynolds, now known as Jay Rukin. Yeah. He was unlucky there, though. Bash Bison, of course, has, has gone unpinned since changing his name to Bash Bison. Of course, the former Stinky the Homeless guy. And the fans apparently want him to go back to that moniker. Or at least one of them does. <laughs> and I wonder what that voice is all about. I think I heard that voice every wrestling show I go to. I heard he's even trying his luck as ring announcer or something. Yeah, he is actually. I heard he's actually kind of decent. Good for him. We all know that you're untouchable as a ring announcer, though. Oh, uh, well. Thanks a lot, Rachi, but those days are far and they're over. It's a shame, my friend. It's a shame. I, I know a promotion that's looking for a good ring announcer. <laughs> oh, I tell you. We'll talk to my people, then talk to your people, see what happens. All right. My people are Matt Fortune. <laughs> Which, by the way, isn't here tonight. He's not here tonight, of course. His brother getting married tomorrow. Congratulations, Jamie. Your life is over. That's right. But it's all good. Why is he calling him to go for the Hoovy driver? Oh, the roofie driver. He wants him to, to give him some roofies, then drive him. Here we go, circling here. Bash Bison, Sexy Eddie. Bash Bison charges in. Sexy Eddie telegraphs, sends him face first in the top turnbuckle, now hammering away. Big knee lift. Bash Bison should know better. Try that with Sexy Eddie. That's right, Sexy Eddie. He knew this was coming. He knew that his, his, his opponent, Bash Bison, a very fierce competitor. 
one of the biggest men in C4 wrestling. Reversal on the whip, Sexyetti puts on the brakes, up on the second, look at the cross body, caught by Bash Bison. Look at the strength here. Oh! Huge slam, and the crowd just erupts. Only a two count. Like I said, Bash Bison looks really focused tonight. Sexy Eddie's gonna have to pull all the tricks out of his hat. The kid is a monster, charges in, big cannonball in the corner. I can't believe it. This crowd is so freaking hot. And a big back elbow. It's a good start to season three of C4. Only a two count, says referee back in. Bash Bison now clubbing away on Sexy Eddie. Oh, look at this now. Very cheap move here, just choking him across that middle. Ah, uh, C4 Wrestling, uh, new season, same old ropes. I thought there was supposed to be uh, some improvement over the summer. There was a bit of an improvement. The uh, top rope seems to be a little bit tighter. And the fans still piling in here tonight. I can't believe it. That is awesome for a Friday night, change your nights. You always wonder if the crowd's going to follow you, but C4 are very loyal fans. Well, let's hope they follow them again next month because they're also running on a Friday in October. And that Friday, of course, my birthday weekend. Big side slam from Bash Bison. That's my birthday weekend, so I'm going to try and get a bunch of my friends in here. Ruckus. See what we can do. I'm getting old, brother. Oh, yes. And if you are, I'm going to be the big 4-0 next year, my friend. Oh, you're a liar. Yeah. See this move right here? Yes. That's a surfboard submission. Hulk Hogan uses those in all the old WCW video games, but I've never seen him use it once in real life. That is BS. Usually when I go on that rant, I swear a lot, but I'm not swearing anymore. Well, you know what? If you get a little too enthused, I wouldn't mind if you swear a couple of times. It doesn't bother me. I just might. Sexy idea, attempting the power out of it. Oh, both men on their feet. Oh. I think Bash Bison might have hit him low there, but Sexy Eddie puts on the brakes, big back elbow. Big right, and another. Sends him off, reversal on the whip. Telegraphs a backdrop with the uh, sunset flip attempt. But Bison drops the fist, Eddie out of the way, catches nothing, but Matt, it's over. Oh, I think he only got a one and a half right there. Oh my. Spears him out of his boots. Only a two count. Sexy Eddie never saw that spear coming, Rachi. Eddie, 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 Eddie. Oh man. Ash Bison. Sexy Eddie in a bad way here. I'll tell you one thing, I think Sexy Eddie's a little frazzled here. He didn't think he was gonna have that much competition today. Oh no. Going for the move formerly known as the stink bomb. He's got him up. But Eddie, sunset flip! Eddie! You gotta believe it! Right there! Sexy Eddie scored in the upset! And Bash Bison is pissed! That's all that he needed was one mistake by Bash Bison. Oh man, Bash Bison. I believe uh, his charge, Shane Hobbs, stated that if Bash Bison wasn't victorious tonight, he was going to be punished in a big way. This is not good for Bash Bison, but it's great for Sex Yeti. Back on the winning end of things. Good way to start season three of C4 for Sexy Yeti. Hell yeah! There's a fan with a sign that says Bash Stinks. I like that. Sex Yeti victorious. I just hit my face on the mic. Yeah, season three, C4, much more to come.
our victory in the fight against cancer. The group Fighting Back Wrestling with Cancer was formed in honor of 23-year-old Frank Moran from Quebec. He lost his battle with an aggressive form of cancer back in April. Since then, friends in Canada have come together holding wrestling matches in his memory and to raise money for research. Money raised goes to the Canadian Cancer Society. $10,100, $11,000. Ladies and gentlemen, Mustafa, the Misunderstood Cow! That's right, he's not a terrorist like his brother, Mustafa, the Misunderstood Cow. We don't know what he is, but here he comes! Oh, he's black! Chocolate milk! Listen to this song, can you dance to this, Joy Tiger? Oh, oh right Joy now. Tiger's getting down! And Mustafa, in there like a house of fire. Sorry, folks, I was distracted by the uh, ever jovial giant tiger dancing his ass off. And his opponent, from wherever he may roam, uh -oh, from wherever he may roam, the holy sky. Giant tiger, do you know the words to this song? No, I don't, but I'll try to figure it out. Just make him up. There's a voice. Yeah, it keeps on calling me down the road. Is Bring it up here right now! Every I'm step I take, Bring I make you. a new friend! Yeah. 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 Maybe yeah. tomorrow yeah. I'll want to settle down. down. I'll, I'll get to hell! Giant tiger fucked up! Ladies and gentlemen, yeah. Interspecies Wrestling in Ottawa, Ontario! Yeah. I'll call it down! For a while, just grab your hat, we'll travel light, that's hobo style. Oh, they close when I start things off. And another stinky unloading on Mustafa, the misunderstood cow. Scoop and a slam. Got him in the body slam. Folks, this match is a rematch from the recent Interspecies Wrestling Show, the Rocky Horror Picture Show. Which is available on DVD. That's right, you did. You got a copy yet? Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You're on the cover, brother. Oh, yeah. Well, that's now Mustafa. I'm <laughs> running away from Stinky. You don't, you know why I'm on the cover? Why are you on the cover? Because I'm Hollywood. You're Hollywood. Baby. Here we go. Uh, he's in the ring. Mustafa, that's right. Stinky I like now. Stinky. Give him chase. I uh, threw five dollars. Uh, Stinky uh, rapped with five dollars. Mustafa drops the elbow. That was clever. Wicked in a way. Mustafa hits the ropes. Okay, big kick to the lower back. He's hitting off the ropes. Look at the leverage he's getting in those kicks. He's done. Oh, look at this, the ground and pound. He's I milking guess, him. I guess that's ground and pound beef. He's milking him. Ground beef, get it? He's milking him, what? How's he milking him? I don't know. Anyway. Mustafa up on his feet now. Chocolate milk up. Chocolate milk? Yeah. That's a fucking good name. Oh. Power sneaky into the corner. Oh, oh no. Big running headbutts. And another. Oh, it's got to hurt. He said, move, move. And these fans don't care much about Mustafa, the misunderstood cow. And here it is. He's charging up. Oh, oh. he gets the feet up. What's this? Spine buster from the cow. Oh, he's done. Pin. Two. Seriously? No. Okay. I didn't think so either. Get What's this now? Look at this. More ground and pound. He's real mad. Punching him out. Mustafa. Stinky the mouth. Fucking him up. The way he knows how. Thank you, Giant Tiger. Thank you. Yes. I like being serenaded. 
on the top. Look at this now. The fans chanting ground beef. Mustafa's going up top. That's a bad idea because the ropes at C4 suck dick. Mustafa up top. Looking for the elbow drop, but Stinky with the presence of mind to move out of the way. Out of the way, he's done. Look at this now. Stinky's up. Mustafa charges it. Stinky! Looking for the power bomb. He's got him up. Alley oop into the corner. Waist lock German suplex. Uh, running ass. Got the ass to the face. The cover hooks the leg. Only two counts as our referee, Brett Lauderdale. What do you uh, think of that he name? Looks like somebody I would beat up. <laughs> his, his last name is Lauderdale. He's ugly. <laughs> Fuck you. What's his name? Lauderdale. Brent? Lauderdale. Hey, Lauderdale. Fuck you. Stinky with the lift. Dropping Mustafa oh, on his face. Dropping him. Like a, like a hot potato. Picking him up like a hot potato. Stinky calling for the power bomb. Power bomb like a hot potato. Mustafa flows through. Oh, low blow. No. Oh, look at this guy. She's cute. She's got a sweet and sour shirt. I want to fucking taste her. Yes. Stinky hitting the ropes. The stink asser. Ass to the back of the head. Two. Three. It's over. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner. Two and a, two and all against Mustafa. Stinky the homeless guy. Is where I'll always be. Come on, Tiger. Three step I make a new friend. Oh, and now he's got him. I'm Taking him down. Let me leave tomorrow. I want to see him. Let me leave tomorrow. I love him now. Maybe tomorrow. Never seen him. With new adventures. Out of the band. For a while, just grab your hat, we'll travel like that's hobo style. Maybe tomorrow I'll wanna settle down. Until tomorrow, I'll just keep whatever. Interspecies wrestling! Unfortunate cancellation for Kevin C. We wish him the best. But now we got this three-way dance. We have Claire Uno, the man who came so close last C4 show to winning the C4 title, just coming up a little bit short in his bid. Now getting another chance to possibly win the title as he takes on Mike Bailey and the defending C4 champion, Stupefy. You mentioned it, I couldn't hear you over the fans and the music, but of course coming off that uh, huge title match with... Uh, I did, I did. Oh, well there you go. That match was huge, dude. I watched that in Michigan. 
It was amazing stuff. I could have just imagine being there live. One of his opponent from St. Boniface, Quebec, weighing 164 pounds, Speedball Mike Bailey! Challenger number two. Speedball Mike Bailey, a guy who made his name in C4 Wrestling. He definitely became a crowd favorite, some gutsy performances. This kid has a lot of heart and a lot of fire. He has taken some vicious beatings in his time in C4, but he always rallies back. He only puts on a good fight. Even in victory or defeat, he has the crown in the palm of his hands, and tonight he goes for the biggest prize C4 has to offer. You gotta wonder what's going through the minds of both Player Uno and yes. Mike Bailey at this point. You know, they were coming to this venue expecting to take on each other tonight, but Mike Bailey was hoping to be seconded by his partner, Mr. Wrestling Kevin Steen, while Player Uno didn't come here to fight Player Dose. It's a whole different dynamic now. And as we saw last C4 season, there was a lot of tension and brewing between the Super Smash the Brothers. They were hoping to, you know, whatever problems they had, they want to put it behind them for such an important show C4 like this. But with the unfortunate champion, cancellation of Kevin Plato's Steen, those issues can be resumed and possibly even elevated fight. in this match. This match, of course, you got three styles. You got Mike Bailey, who uses a more martial arts based style. You got Player Uno, who's a powerhouse. And you got stupefied, player dose, whatever you want to call him, the boy wonder, the C4 champion. He comes out here and he's springboarding and he's flying all over the place, using his speed to his advantage. It's it, it's quite the dynamic for a three-way. It's a huge styles clash. We'll consider this too, Mike Ross. Tonight. Oh god, oh Adam. He's got the hat. The ultimate nod to his departed friend, Frank Moray. Stupefied, down in that fedora. Just imagine now, too, Raj, the emotions going through Player Uno. Yeah, that's crazy, man. The emotions, too, between Player Uno and Stupefied. They thought they were going to be teaming tonight to honor their friend, but now they must go into combat together, still to honor their departed friend, Greg Moray. Yeah, it's different. They're, they're not even wearing the same colors tonight. You know, you got to expect they were teaming earlier. They both be sporting the green, but Stu, of course, uh, seems to have... <laughs> Perhaps he even knew what was going on here tonight. Perhaps he knew Kevin Steen was, was ill or whatever was going on, couldn't make it. So he packed the red tights. Oh, the fans. <laughs> the fire vocal fans. Opposed to the fact that Stu is still the champion. Uh, you know, Stu, it's undisputed. You know, that, that match very hard fought. He came out the winner. No shenanigans. Stu Pied has defined the, the C4 championship. It's probably one of the most emotional C4 tell defenses of them all. Thinking of what this show is about, what the show was made for. Player Uno, stupefied brothers, their fallen friend Frank Moray, wherever he is right now, he's watching and he is proud of both men and what they've accomplished. Right. And the fans split already. I'm just enjoying this right now. Let the crowd talk for us. People can say what they want about Stupefied's attitude change last season in C4, but look at the list of people he's defending the C4 title against. Tyson Dukes, Kevin Steen, MVP, Player Uno, Michael Elgin, Sanjay Dutt, Jay Rookie. That's an impressive list, Mike Ross. It's pretty crazy. Well, we've been circling here. This match can be rather interesting. I believe this is a first ever three-way contest between these Mike Bailey, of course, making his C4 debut against Player Uno. He did, he did. That's basically the story of Mike Bailey. He's the kid who takes a beating and keeps coming back. You know, he takes a look and keeps on ticking. And that's why he's captured the hearts of the C4 faithful. After that first match, after that just hellacious beating he took at the hands of Player Uno, the crowd was just captured by this young man. Roll through. 
Uno now with a small package of his own inside cradle. Takes out a two. Schoolboy roll up. Another thing to consider too, Mike Rocks, is that Mike Bailey is also the co-holder of the C4 Tag Team Cup. He would love to walk out of here with the C4 title. But what would that do to the psyche of his partner, Kevin Steen? Uh, player Uno is the only guy in this match who has not held a title in C4. Yeah, he did win the first overall tournament, but you know, that's not a title though. Or a trophy. You want a bunny, a chocolate bunny. A delicious uh, chocolate bunny. He ate it, he got fatter, and now he's skinny. It's crazy. Maybe the bunny was loaded with fiber. Poofed. Oh, Stu with the kick in the midsection, side headlock applied. Bailey sets him off. Oh, shoulder tackle. Knocks him out of his bare feet and skin. Oh, big leg. Now, taking into fact the three styles of these three men, referee Alex Hadfield is going to have his work cut out for him trying to keep control on this. There could be bodies flying oh. everywhere. And this is why they call that kid speedball, but Uno knocked him out of his kick pads. Oh, oh, oh Rana. Rana. Fight, not trying to hold back early. He's going for the yeah. moves right away. As he charges in, he has a close line player, Uno. Hey. Got up here, ducks the line. Oh, oh, and over into the head scissor on Stupefied. Beautiful move by Mike Bailey. What are we going to call him? Are we going to call him Stupefied or Player Dose? Oh, ducks the spinning toe kick. Kick the midsection, caught by Player Uno. Put over to the referee, caught. Always. Big they always go for that. The referees are crooked, man. They shouldn't be catching that foot. It's hilarious. Hilarious. C4 champion Stupefy just taking his time outside the ring. Here comes Uno. Fans move. Oh. Fans move. Dive Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, when you see a wrestler flying at you, please move. Yeah, a former fat boy can fly. Give that kid some uh, credit. You know, we did for Michael Algen earlier. Who knows in tremendous shape. <laughs> yes. I know. And the champions in the ring. Stupefy can just sit back now with the two challengers that beat themselves down. Here comes Stupefy. Dive. 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 Superman style. Superboy style. Wonder Boy style. Boy Wonder. Oh, sunset flip, ducks on the kick. Beautiful, oh, no, blocked. Oh, on the knees. Ducks the line, caught up and down. You're a oh, Nagi. Oh. That's a common misconception. You're a Nagi is not a rock bottom. You're a Nagi is a suplex from a rock bottom position. Ah, the more you know. <laughs> Only he's like a rainbow and a star with good. Snammers him over, stupefied his throat. Oh, big nice jump and kick. Back to the head. Now, Stupefied has shown a very vicious streak in his title defenses. He has choked out Kevin Steen. He has just tapped into this inner anger in past title defenses. Can we see that temper flare out here, even at a show with such emotion as this? Mayhaps. Takes him over with the super. Looking to get back in the ring. Oh, Stu drop kicks his feet out from under him. A little, Side roll. A little cocky swagger now for Stupefied. Big forearm strengths. Now here's an interesting fact to bring up too, Raj. The C4 title has changed hands in multi-man matches. The, C the first ever C4 champion, Kevin Steen, won it in a multi-man match. Stupefied. Yes, Stupefied won a multi-man match to be the C4 champion himself. Any guys like Kevin his own partner, player Jimmy Jacobs. A lot of eerie factors going on this one. Big body slam by Stupefied. You got me thinking now, Adam. Could history repeat itself as Mike Bailey kicks out of the queue? Can Mike Bailey also pop to capitalize on the fact that player Uno and Superfly could be a little distracted about this? Like, look at the theme of this show. The fact that it's to honor their fallen friend. Could Uno and Superfly be a little overtaken by their emotions? Can Mike Bailey capitalize on that? He's got a little series of kicks and a big head kick to the head of Superfly. You know, Bailey wins this match. Oh, turn inside out with the clothesline. And another Uno, a house of fire, opening up on his partner, his brother, his best friend. 
with a big back elbow. As I was saying, if Bailey wins this match, he'll hit a milestone. First ever in C4 Wrestling to hold both titles at the same time. And Uno catch into that move that Crimson stole from him. Yeah, I called you out redhead. Oh, he's got a sleeper hole now. Possible rear naked, standing rear naked choke. Is there a rear naked choke? I cannot see from this vantage point. Mike Bailey using that martial arts background. Possibly see, Stu using a dragon sleeper as of late. Oh, God, this right here. Now that, that's power. That's that power, is Mike Rock. Stinky the homeless guy right there. Right there, that double team maneuver. Vintage Stinky the homeless guy. Busted out for the first time in a three way encounter with Zombified and Player Uno at the UWA Triple X debacle. You gotta go for the debacle. Going for the power bomb. Oh, what's this? Signaling to the sky, tribute to his homeboy, but he flips out of it. Kick the midsection, caught. Ducks the spinning bit, the back kick. Catches him up, sends him over. Ducks the line, speedball, stops. Oh! Good punch! Super kick! Tornado kick! Turns him inside out! Oh, sweet Jesus! All three men are down, my gosh. It is anybody's match right now as the C4 champion is in big trouble. I haven't said this in a while, but pro wrestling, I love you. Still fine, was rocked by that kick. Still fine, might be a non factor here for a few minutes. Meaning either player Uno or Mike Bailey can dig deep within them, find that finishing move, and bring home the C4 title. That's right, you don't have to pin the champion to become the champion in this match. You just gotta get the one, two, three. Catch the foot. Bailey over to slice bread. Beautiful transition. It's the ropes. Moonsault follow away slam! Stupefied was so close to having that C4 title! What the hell was that, my garage? Awesome! That's what it was! My voice is hoarse, I screamed like a woman. Mike Bailey was within a second of getting the C4 title, but that champion instinct, that survival mode of Stupefied kicked in and he just got the shoulder up. This could be it, Adam, if he connects, he's going up top. Mike Bailey, of course, looking to uh, attack from the high rent district, but Stu is up, sends him off, but Bailey rolls through, up, and he's got him up. Possible torture rack. He's got him like an Argentine backbreaker. Oh, oh my across the knee. Backbreaker. <laughs> Bailey just oh, getting the shoulder up. Out. Last millisecond stuff right there. That temper could be playing out now. Super fight. He cannot let that happen. He's got to remain focused. Uno on the apron. Big forearm. Oh, he's got him out on the apron. This is the hardest part of the ring, Adam. Spear! Oh, man. Spear on the ring apron. Another page out of the book of Stinky the Homeless Guy with the spear. Player Uno, he's pulling it all out. Oh, but what's this? Both men on the outside, none the wiser. You see Mike Bailey getting ready to ascend the ropes. He's up top, oh Lord. Mike Bailey. Jesus Christ! Christ. And this place has become unglued! Mike Bailey putting his health, his career on the line for the you C4 stupid title. Kid. I love you. That's what you gotta do sometimes in big match situations like this, Rosh. You gotta put yourself in that harm to get. I'm not lost for words. That was amazing. Could Mike Bailey now capitalize on that and get the C4 title? He rolls Uno in. The super fight still on the outside. If Mike Bailey wants to be the C4 champion, he's got to find that finishing move right now. There it is. Looking for that standing sky drill. But Uno out of the way. Oh, no. He's 
hooking it up here. Looking for the bubble bobble buster. It'll be game over. Oh! There it is. Showpiece. Here comes Stoop. Frog oh, splash. Incredible hook splash, as he calls it. Hooks the leg. Still a five retains. Wow. What a and this is how you pay tribute to a best friend, man. This is it right here. That was the best match I've ever seen live. That's not even a joke. It's not hyperbole. I said it right, Mark. You should be happy. I didn't say hyperbole this time. But man. Stumafod showing why he's the C4 champion. He has just retained the title in another hard-fought championship match. He now goes into our next C4 season, still the champion, and still with a potential long list of challenges awaiting him. But for now, still quite can bask in the victory of still holding that gold and honoring the memory of his friend. Frank that was Moray. for you, Frankie.
things just before I read you a very important message. There is the official fighting back after party happening at Local Heroes at 1525 Bank Street. So be there people, the official fighting back after party. As well, at the table at the front, there's a penny jar, a Simpsons penny jar. So on your way out, fill it up people. Great idea. A penny jar. It's a Simpsons penny jar. All right. Before I meet again, I have a message to read for all of you that comes from Frank's sister, Marie Audrey. I want to thank you, everyone here, for coming to see the show. And I especially want to thank all the people that helped put this show together to raise money for the Canadian Cancer Society. You went beyond what we expected. And I know there was a lot of energy put to make sure everything was ready for today. It is fitting that a wrestling show is the way his memory is honored when wrestling has such a huge impact in his life. We could see when he began his training how happy it made him and gave him confidence. How he became more outgoing, more and more like Frank with a PH. That we knew and loved. He was a kid that, in grade 5, would get beaten up every Friday afternoon coming home from school, even if he was almost twice their size. He became a young man that no one would mess with, but with who everyone wanted to be friend. He became friend with the PH. I remember when Frank and I were growing up. Once in a while, he would mention how he would like to take singing lessons or guitar lessons learning something that people would know him for. He wanted to leave a mark on this world that would remain after his death. He may never have been famous as today's society defines it, but after seeing the number of people coming forward since April, or the painful months before, giving us their condolences and telling us stories of how Frank made them laugh, made them cry, appreciate life more, I have no doubts that he left his mark in this world. It might not be on billboards, but it is in how all of those who knew him will live their lives differently for having known him. Remember him, remember him for who he was, what he stood for, and he will have left his mark. <laughs> 